In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform um, a backup for SharePoint 2010. So this one will be a farm backup. So if I go on my SharePoint server, so we have the backup and restore here and we can perform a backup. But before we can do this, we need to create a folder where the backup is going to be. OK, so just for the demo purposes, I'm going to create um, a folder on my SQL server. So here I am simply on my document um, library and I'm going to create a new folder and I will just call this uh, SharePoint Backups. OK, now what I need to do is I need to share this folder with the service accounts. OK. Um, that you have on your SharePoint to run the backup. And uh, so I'm just going to right click share with and specific people. So you can see that my SP admin is already an owner of this because I'm logged on my SQL Server with this um, account. OK, but I can add anybody that I want to share this folder with. So just uh, for the sake of it, I just going to share this with my ESP farm and just click OK. Uh, if you click on the arrow, you can change the permissions. So I will give them the read and write permissions and then I click on share. Now you have the path for the for the folder, which is uh, really important. OK, so I can simply click on copy in there and by the way, I'm using the remote desktop connection manager. Uh, which is free and which is really useful because you can have all your virtual machines there just at one glance. And what's interesting is that you can copy and pass between the virtual machines. So from my SQL server, I'm going to go on my SharePoint server. And what I'll do is I'm going to note the path in there, simply on the notepad, uh, control V on the keyboard to copy and pass. And I will just make some minor changes just to keep that for a letter. Up, uh, last one, uh, up. Just gonna keep that like this, okay? Now, what I need to do is on my SharePoint server, I need to map this network drive, okay? So if I go on computer, here on the top, you have a bunch of options and you have map network drive. So I'm going to click on this and here I'm going to put the path that I just had. So control C and control V in here. Um, you can reconnect that logon. So I'm going to leave it like this and just click on finish. This is going to check the connection. Everything is fine. I have the permissions. So you can see my folder is now mapped in here. Very good. I can close this and I have the network drive in there. I keep that for later. Just going to reduce this and going to reduce this. OK, so now on my SharePoint server, and I gonna, I can click on Performer Backup. I'm just going to click on this so you can see all the options. And you have perform a backup, restore from a backup, and so on. Uh, click on perform a backup. And here, I'm just going to click on the farm. So this is going to back up absolutely everything that's in there. OK, just click Next. So uh, we're going to back up the farm, yes, and the backup type full or differential. So I'm going to leave it at full because that's my first backup. Um, then you have the kind of that data that you want to back up. So backup content and configuration settings or only the configuration settings. I'm going to leave it for content and configuration settings because that's my first backup. And here you're going to put the path of the folder. So which is this one, just in case, up, copy, up. Control V on the keyboard and the pad, and then you can click on start the backup. You can see here um, how much space this is going to take for the backup, so which will be on your SQL server because I created my folder on the SQL server. Okay, so just click on start the backup. 
if everything is fine, you can see that a backup or restore is currently in progress and there you can refresh the page. So I'm going to refresh, but it can take a few seconds to see something. So after a few seconds, you can see that you have the, the detail of what's going on here. So in process, for example, for those ones, preparing the backup for the other ones. Here you have the phase for the full backup, which is still in process. Um, if I click on refresh, you see that it's still in process for the other ones. So after a few minutes, um, depending on the size of your backup or of your farm, so you may have this page now seeing that uh, the phase is completed and um, now we can go and check on the backup folder and here we have our backup. So now you just have to uh, test with the restore backup to see if your backup is really worth before you do anything like an upgrade or an update or anything.